Hi, today I wanted to share with you my scrapbook expo haul. So my friends Josie, Liz, and I decided we wanted to crop at the Pleasanton Scrapbook Expo. So I bought my ticket to, to go to the crop and I thought about do I want to go in and shop and I decided no. I was going to save my $10 and I was going to save any money I would spend going to the showroom. Well, a couple things. <laughs> so the crop came with a $20 voucher um, to their Keep It Simple booth. And that was inside the showroom. So I kind of wanted to go back in there. And then I was lucky enough to get a free ticket um, to go inside. So <laughs> I saved $10, but I ended up spending $120 that I was trying to avoid, but I love all my stuff. So anyways, let's start. So um, with the crop, you got a little button. And then because I've been to the expo many a times, I also got a returned um, button. And then with the crop, you also got this um, Canon paper, photo paper, uh, that comes with five, I think, um, that I'll use. I have a whole bunch of packs, but I'll eventually use them all. And then you also got this cute um, paper storage, and I totally need one because um, I just redid my scrapbook room, so I could always use um, paper holders. Once you got, went into the showroom, um, I got this bag, which I filled up. <laughs> and my first stop was the Close to My Heart booth because a while back, um, years and years ago, maybe almost 10 years ago, I got the white um, pigment-based ink from Close to My Heart and it's starting to dry out. So I really want, every time I go to the expos, I, I look for this and the white is usually one of the first things that sells out and they had two. So I went ahead and grabbed this one. I can't wait to open it and use it. Then I went to the Keep It Simple to use my $20 voucher. <laughs> of course I went way over the $20. I got this cute washi tape. I really wanted this um, book bookshelf washi. Um, this one I didn't really care for, but it came in a pack, so I don't know if I'll give it away or just keep it. And then they had all these Wandering Planner um, stamp sets, and I was looking, 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 so I ended up with these three. I got the Northern California, because um, I had the wine glass in um, San Francisco, things I, I'll, I'll, I'll use. And then I haven't been to Washington, D.C. My husband just went, and next year I plan on going with my mom to see the cherry blossoms and all the stuff in Washington, D.C., so I picked this one up. And then I just came back from Las Vegas, so I had to get this one. Um, I can also use this Nevada for my son who went to the University of Nevada in Reno, so I figure this is a perfect stamp. And there was a few other ones that I didn't pick up that I wish I did but that's later in this video <laughs> and then before um, the showroom opened um, the photo play people came around the crop and were giving out a coupon if you spent um, $20 you could get a free stamp set and of course they brought you know some samples of what you could buy and what you can get for free um, so I had to go there and um, I got this cute summer the little flamingo and I, I love these colors together and then I love this Halloween because it had the Dia de los Muertos um, and I plan on doing some layouts for that um, but this is so cute um, and I ended up buying 
the matching stamp set. They're so cute. And then I had to get, this is um, Harry Potter, had to get that. Um, and then my free gift was this, which was a $6 value, so that's pretty cool. And then I also got, um, I was trying looking, looking for the fourth one, so I just ended up with this other um, summer theme, and I really like the colors, so that was it. And when I first went into the showroom area, there were so many people, and so I don't get anxiety really, but when there's too many people, sometimes I'm just like, ah, just get me out of here. So I just went to those three um, booths, and I'm like, okay, I'm done. Uh, originally, I had planned on being at the crop from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., and then the day before, um, actually a couple days before, found out I was going to do a quick trip on Friday, so um, I ended up leaving at 2. So I knew I only had... Um, to be at the crop between eight and two. And I wanted to catch up with my friends and actually do a little bit of cropping since I paid to be there. So I'm, I hit these three spots. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go back and that's it. Well, then I was seeing, you know, what Liz bought and what Josie bought. So then I, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in real fast. So I went back to the Keep It Simple and um, I wasn't gonna get this Arizona because at first I didn't see that it had Phoenix. I'm like, well, why isn't there Phoenix? But it does have Phoenix. <laughs> and I was actually, I went to Arizona this weekend, so that was perfect. And then when Liz showed me the Orlando, or the Florida stamp, she showed me this Harry Potter hat. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to go back and get that. So I went back and I got that. Um, and then I was going to go to um, another booth uh, scrap that that had a bunch of simple stories stuff but the line was way too long and I wanted to get back I'm like okay I'm done so I went back to the crop area and then Liz is like let's go to the um, simple stories booth I'm like okay if it's a short line I will go so I went <laughs> 45 and I actually only went because I was gonna only buy this five dollar um, photo crop they're the squares and the rectangles, and that's all I was going to buy. And I ended up spending $45 instead of $5. <laughs> so I got that. And then this Say Cheese 4 stamp set. That's so cute. And then these were only, only uh, $3. So I ended up getting a bunch of pocket pages. Um, this is um, a variety pack. And so they, they go into your book this way. And these ones go in this way. Um, so I had to get those. And then I think I already have this paper, but I wanted some more and it was only 50 cents. So I got two of those and one of these. And then this is the Say Cheese 4 um, line. And I was gonna get it on scrapbook.com but it made my shipping go way up, so I decided not to. <laughs> so it was perfect. It was meant to be. Um, so here are the stickers. I'm not really keen on these little kids in this um, whole line. Um, they're a little too cutesy for me, um, but I'll, I'll use everything else. Um, it's not that I don't like kids, I mean. <laughs> it's just... That's, that's not my style, um, but I, I do love everything else. Um, so that's how I went from not wanting to spend any money at the Scrapbook Expo to spending way more than I should have. But I, I, I hope to use all this stuff eventually. Eventually. Um, but I do really like all my stamps. and Actually, I like all, everything I bought, so... I'm really hoping that I will use them, but um, I really love these Wandering Planner um, stamp sets. And they probably had five other ones um, to choose from. I just, these would be the ones I would most likely use. So thank you for watching my video, and 
I hope I give you some ideas for what you want to look for if you go to the Scrapbook Expo. Bye.